it starts with a whisper, a single question, a moment of doubt, and for some Muslims, that moment becomes the beginning of a journey they never expected, away from Islam, away from certainty, and into the unknown. In neuroscience, doubt isn't just a thought, it's a signal. The brain's anterior cingulate cortex lights up when we detect conflict between belief and evidence. It's the same region activated when something doesn't feel right. For a devout Muslim, this might happen when they hear a verse that contradicts their moral intuition, or when they learn something in science class that clashes with religious teachings. That single moment of cognitive dissonance can trigger a cascade. Psychologists call it the belief disconfirmation paradigm. When a core belief is challenged, we either double down or begin to unravel. And unraveling is more common than we think. For many Muslims, Islam isn't just a religion. It's identity, family, culture, morality. So when one piece falls, the rest tremble. That's why a single doubt can feel like betrayal. Not just of faith, but of self. Before the internet, questions stayed private. Now they echo. Reddit threads, YouTube videos, TikTok creators. Millions of voices asking the same things. Why is apostasy punished? Why are women treated differently? Why does God need worship? And here's the twist. The algorithm doesn't just show you answers. It shows you more questions, more critiques, more stories of people who walked away. It's not a conspiracy. It's engagement optimization. Social media platforms are designed to keep you watching. If you click on one video questioning Islam, the algorithm assumes you want more. And suddenly, your feed becomes a mirror of your doubt. This creates what sociologists call a digital echo chamber. You're not just doubting. You're surrounded by doubt. And when you see others who've left, who've healed, who've found peace, you start to wonder, could that be me? Humans are social creatures. We crave belonging. And for many Muslims, the fear of leaving Islam isn't theological, it's relational. Will my parents disown me? Will my friends abandon me? Will I be alone? But online, new communities emerge. Ex-Muslim forums, support groups, anonymous spaces where people share their stories. And suddenly, the fear of isolation is replaced by the hope of connection. Neuroscience tells us the brain seeks coherence. When beliefs clash with lived experience, especially trauma, the mind begins to rewrite its narrative. This is common in religious trauma syndrome, where faith becomes a source of fear, guilt, or shame. And once the brain rewrites the story, it's hard to go back. Because healing often requires letting go, not just of pain, but of the beliefs that caused it. So why does one doubt matter? Because belief isn't built on logic alone, it's built on trust. And when that trust breaks, even slightly the foundation cracks. For some, the crack heals. For others, it shatters. And in that shattering, they find something unexpected. Freedom. Not from morality or meaning, but from fear. Leaving Islam doesn't mean losing everything. It means rebuilding rethinking, reclaiming, and for those who've walked this path, you are not broken. You are brave. One doubt can change everything, but sometimes everything needs to change.